Hey fellow Vault Wearers, it's Angry Turtle and that just a quick review of the new power armor on the public test server, Union Armor, and it will be quick because there is really not too much to talk about. First is the look. The look is new. As you can see, we don't have power armor like this one. Unfortunately, that comes to the point number two. The only reason to go after this power armor is for its look. And now, why? I will show you why. When we go into the crafting station and stats of this power armor, we compare it with other options and then I will give you quick suggestion what will be better. Okay, I shouldn't put it back. Let's put it on here. What will be better, what can be easily done to make this power armor desirable without breaking the game, of course. We go into the crafting. It will appear on the bottom. Union power armor. If you take a look on the torso stats, 115, 75, 65, no set effect. There's no special effect. That's the resistance, regular power armor. The downside, every modification need to be bought with stamps from expeditions. Therefore, getting mods for this power armor will be expensive and takes time. Now, if we compare this to something else that do not have any set effect and good resistance, that will be T65. Let's go to T65 power armor torso, 140, 120, 120. Again, 140, 120, 120 versus 115, 75, 65. Way lower resistance, that first. No unique attributes, that's second. Very expensive modifications to obtain, that's third point. And those are all bad points. The only good point is unique look. Therefore, it's not really tempting power armor at this moment. It's generally really bad unless you love the look. Because the only way to get your power armor looking like that is using this power armor. But all the pieces, nothing good. Now, what I see that can be made about this power armor to make it actually good and desirable. Very simple thing. As this is in regards to the pit, it's supposed to come from the pit area. There are all those new creatures that have this acid and poisonous attacks. Then why not add to this power armor extra poison resistance, like equal to radiation. Another 40 poison resistance and every piece will have poison resistance equal to radiation resistance. That would make it actually super cool as this will allow you to skip something like Funky Dots in Legendary Perks and keep high poison resistance and even higher than Funky Dots if this will be all equal to red resist. But apart from that, unfortunately, I don't know. Everything seems to be quite bad in regards to this power armor, even though it does look quite cool. Nothing else special about it. Nothing. I can show the light on this power armor if you are interested, but light is standard. It's nothing really unique in regards to the power armor light. Let me do a quick demonstration. No light. Light on. No light. Light on. And that's it. Now, let me know what you think. Do you agree with me? Are you happy with this power armor as is? Or would you do something like I suggested? Or you have a different suggestion? Let me know. Because that is everything I have to say. Therefore, thank you a lot for watching. And see you all in the next one.